Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of kindergarten. I am so glad you were here with me to learn. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at our new letter of the week. So let me share my screen with you and we can take a look at that together. I'm going to make this nice and big for you so that you can see everything. There we go. One more. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. All right, so this week's letter is the letter L, and L makes the O sound like in Ladybug. It also makes the O sound in these words. Laptop, lion, lip, leak, lemon, lock, leaf, and log. So those, all of those you can see start with the O sound, okay? So let's go ahead, pull my cards aside, and let's go ahead and review the letters that we've learned so far. So we have quite a few letters that we know of. Okay, so here is the letter A. Say them with me. F, G, and these are out of order, by the way. O, D, R, T, S, N, and N. So let's go through those one more time and let's say the sound this time. A says A ah, as an apple. F says F as in fan. G says G as in gum. O says ah uh, as an octopus. D says d as in dinosaur. R says er uh, as in rainbow. T says t as in teapot. S says s as in sun. N says n mm, as in necklace. And M says m mm, as in money. And then we have our new letter of the week, L says O as a ladybug. Okay, so I'm going to put those to the side for right now. And what you need to do is go ahead and get your kindergarten binder that looks just like this. So if you don't have it pulled out, go ahead and grab that. You're going to need it today. And then you're going to need your dry erase marker and your eraser as well. Okay, so go ahead and grab those things if you don't have them. Um, if you need to go get them, then you need to push pause so that you don't get too behind. Okay? So let's go ahead and start by practicing writing our name. So go ahead and put the lid in the back of your marker. And let's go ahead and practice writing our name. Write it four times, remember? So we're going to write our name four times. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm sure you guys are expert name writers by now. So I hope you guys had a good rest last night. I hope you slept well and had great dreams. I hope you had a good breakfast or lunch, depending on when you're watching this today. It's always important to have a good meal. It helps fuel your brain so you can think and do your work. All right, so there, I wrote my name four times. And so when you're done, make sure that uh, you erase your board, just like this. Okay. So if you are not done, then go ahead and push pause, and then you can come back when you're all done. All right, so the next part we're gonna do is I know my alphabet. So we're going to flip all the way over to the letter L. All my letters from before in here. So here is the letter L. So we're going to work on that. So go ahead and get your marker ready. Now L is a really, capital is really easy um, to do. You start at the top line and make a number one and touch the bottom line and then go straight across. It's really easy. And one big motion down across. Now on the cross, and make sure you touch the top and bottom line and cross down at the bottom. 
So all the way down to the bottom and across, all the way down to the bottom and across, all the way down and down and across, and all the way down and across. And you might ask yourself or ask me, this is why do we always have to practice these letters? I already know my alphabet. Well, here's the thing. The reason we practice them is because we need to have really good handwriting. Really good handwriting is so important, boys and girls. And even though we use phones and computers and all those things, we type a lot of things these days, it's really important to be able to read someone's handwriting, okay? So just because we use computers does not mean that we can have sloppy handwriting. We need to have neat handwriting so people can read, especially like um, when you're in school um, in, the, in the younger grades, you know, you're gonna be doing a lot of your writing um, not necessarily on a computer, but you're going to be using a paper and a pencil or a pen. And if people can't read your handwriting, how is the teacher ever going to know what you're trying to say? So it's just really important that you have good handwriting. Okay, so I, go, I went ahead and made my snake, and I did my Play-Doh letter L. So um, I'm going to trace it with my finger, start at the top and go to the bottom, and then go all the way across over like that. So if you are still writing your letter L's and still doing your Play-Doh letter L, then go ahead and push pause and then you can catch up when you're done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase my L's and then I'm gonna flip the page over like this. And this is the lowercase L, really easy. It looks like a number one. So we just start at the top and go to the bottom. Just like, it's the same thing if you were gonna write the number one. Um, the lowercase l looks exactly the same. Start at the top and go to the bottom, just a straight line, just like that. Really, really easy letter to write. Both the lower um, case and the upper case are really easy to write. All right, so again, I'm going to make one simple little snake for my lowercase l. So you'll notice some of the um, lowercase letters do touch the top line, um, not always, but like h and l lowercase t, v, some of those um, do touch the top and bottom line, but most of the lowercase letters start at the middle. So here's the lowercase l, it starts at the top and goes straight down, okay? Really easy. All right, so we're going to go to our next section, which is our letter search. So go ahead and find that. And we're going to look for the letter l, and there it is. And remember in the box here, this tells you what letter we're looking for. So this says we need to find all the letter L's in our letter search. Okay, so looking with your eagle eyes, you're going to look line by line and circle all the L's you see. So let's go ahead and get started. And you do your own. You don't have to wait for Mrs. R and look at mine. You go ahead and try and do this all by yourself. And then we can compare our work. So I'm going to count mine in my brain and see how many I found. Okay. I found eight. So I found eight um, letter L's. So if you haven't found eight, we need to count them. Make sure you found all eight. Then you need to look again with your eagle eyes. Okay. So if you haven't quite finished this yet, then go ahead and push pause. You know what to do, right? Um, and then after you've found all eight, you can go ahead and raise your book. So our next section is word of the day. So let's go ahead and get our word card. Um, we have a new sight word for this week, and it is the word me. M-E spells me. So I'm going to rainbow right. I chose purple and pink. So let's see. And then I'm going to build it with Play-Doh, of course, like we always do, right? So this is going to require lots of snakes because M has lots of lines in it. So I'm going to make one gigantic snake, I think. So roll out my Play-Doh. Just like you guys are doing right now, right? Mute your Play-Doh into a gigantic snake so you can build your Play-Doh bird. Okay. So, 
here is our first line, this line going down for the M. I need to make a bump. It looks like an H now, doesn't it? So now I'm going to make another bump. So it's like an H almost, but it's shorter at the top and it comes with a bump and a bump. Okay, now I need to do my E. So that's going to require another sneak. Oops. Wait, I all over the place. So I'm going to roll it out. Go. So I'm going to go ahead and trace it with my fingers down, up and around. Oops, hold on. Let's start again. Down, up, down, up, down, and then straight out across and around like a letter C. Okay. So straight out across and around like a letter C. You can trace that with your fingers. Now, if you're not done, go ahead and press pause. You don't need to stress about Mrs. R getting ahead of you because you can always press pause. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and erase your board. And you're going to need to keep your knee word card, okay? Because you're going to need this for the next part of our notebook work. So we're going to do our high frequency word list. So this is the, the packet where you put all the high frequency words you know. You see the thumbs up. So if you know them, they go in there and then you don't have to practice them anymore. Thumbs down means, oh, I still need to work on these. And that's okay. I expect that people will have words in here that you don't know and you still need to practice. And that's okay too. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the first slot here and it says, say it. So I'm gonna read it, me, and let's spell it together. M-E spells me. Now, I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write it two times because it's a shorter word. Now the me, the word me starts, the M starts at the middle line. So it starts at the middle line and goes to the bottom line. Okay, so down and then bump. To the bottom and bump to the bottom, just like that. Lower KC goes out and curves around like a letter C. Okay, so let's try it one more time. So start at the middle line, down, up and around, up and around, and then the lower KC goes out, up and around, and down to the bottom. So it touches the middle and the bottom line. Okay, it's really important. Go ahead and pause if you're not ready to move on. All right, I'm going to erase that and turn the page. Let's go ahead and say it again, me, and spell it, M-E spells me. You're going to build it with your magnetic letters, so go ahead and find the letters M-E, and then you're going to read the word to yourself. So go ahead and push pause, because you're going to go ahead and need to get those letters out. Okay? All right, so last time, say it. Me, let's spell it, M-E spells me, and then we're gonna build it again with Fredo. All right, time to build some snakes. I think I need to get some new Play-Doh. I think they have Play-Doh that's like glitter Play-Doh, wouldn't that be fun? I guess I could put glitter in this Play-Doh though and make it glitter Play-Doh. I have glitter at school, I need to maybe put it in here and then just work it into the dough, the glitter, and then I would have better Play-Doh, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, gotta make it fun, right? Okay, so we're not having fun, that's not good. So it requires us to have glitter Play-Doh to make it fun, and that's what we'll do. All right, so, and I did it so quick because I just made one long snake and I tore it apart to make that M. And then I'm gonna make the E, that's a great big long snake. You guys find that um, making your snakes is faster now, now that you've been practicing so much? I hope so. You should practice every day, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna trace it with my finger down and around and around. That's the M. And then out and around. So M E spells me. Okay. All right, so if you're not quite done, go ahead and press pause. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that card away for now. So put it in a safe place because you don't wanna lose it. And we're gonna put this notebook away. Okay. So 
So the next thing we're going to get out is our backpack there, listening and writing notebook. Okay. So now some of you might be working in book number two. So you can work at your own pace on that, but most of us are still in book one. All right, so we're gonna work on the letter L. Letter L is found on page 21. It's a two and a one. And if you can't find it, then you need to ask someone to help you, okay? So if you don't have that page yet, that's okay. Just ask a parent to help you find page 21, okay? All right, so you're also gonna need an eraser and your pencil and your crayons for this. So eraser, pencil, and crayons, okay. So let's take a look up here. Um, L is for lip. So we're gonna read this first sentence. And remember, there's a period there. Do you remember what the period does in a sentence? It tells the reader to stop, right? Okay, so point with me, please. I want everyone's pointer finger on your book. Everyone point, ready? We should see pointer fingers on every, everyone pointing to the letter L. Here we go. L is for lip. What's this? This is a log, this is a lock, and this is a lollipop. Okay, let's fill in these pictures here. Ready? L is for log. L is for lock. L is for lollipop. Great. All right, let's practice our L's again. We start at the top line, go down to the bottom, and across. Really easy, right? So you can see it better. There we go. Down to the bottom and across, down 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 and across. It's not like a broken record how I say it over and over. Start at the top and go down, start at the top and go down, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. To bottom, top to bottom, and one last one, top to bottom. We did it. Those are pretty easy ones, huh? All right, so next part we're gonna color. Go ahead and get your crayons out. Now I know some of you, your favorite thing is not coloring, and I get that, but here's the thing. We still need to do it, okay? And here's why. It's part of having really good fine motor control, and the more you practice this, the better you'll get at it. Okay? So part of writing, doing your handwriting, writing our letters and all that is to get your fine motor skills really tuned up and ready to go. So when you go to first grade, the teachers will say, oh my goodness, look at this nice handwriting that you have. You must have worked so hard in kindergarten. My goodness. And then this is our personal smile and be so happy, right? Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to color the lips. Right, try to keep in the lines, please. We don't want any scribbling. You're in kindergarten now. You're big boys and girls, and you can do neat work. Your work doesn't have to be perfect, but I want you to do your best. And I know for a fact, if you are scribbling all over the page, that is definitely not your best. Okay? This is our nose dot. So we need to do our best, and scribbling is not our best. Okay, let's color our log, and you can choose a shade of brown. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do any scribbling coloring, because that doesn't look nice. And you know, at some point, Mrs. R will probably be looking at your notebooks and I want to see the neat work. I don't want to see scribble all over the page. Oh my goodness. Scribbling hurts my eyes. All right, so let's put that back in there. Let's see, I'm going to color the lock gray because not all locks are made of metal. I guess locks can come in all different colors, but I'm just going to color mine gray. Okay, so. This. And then the bear, I'm going to color him brown. This. Or not brown, actually golden. Bear's kind of lots of colors. Okay. Okay. Golden. And make sure you're not scribbling, please. Take your time. 
in the garden now. You're too old for skinny. You don't do that anymore. All right. Let's see. A lollipop. How should I color that? Mm. I'm going to make it since it's swirly. Swirly part. So let's go ahead and turn the page to the back side. And it says, number one, listen for the beginning sound. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to need your pencil. So if it has the beginning sound of O, then you're going to circle it, like in the letter L, O, you'll circle it. If it does not, you're going to put an X on it. Okay. So listen for the beginning sound. So let's say this first word, lip. Does lip have O at the beginning? Lip. Yes, it does. How about lion? Lion. Does lion have O at the beginning? Yep. How about bed? Bed. Does bed have O at the beginning? No, it has no so we're going to fix it up. Log. Log. Does log have O at the beginning? Yep. Okay, great job, you guys. So, finding all those words that have the old sound at the beginning. Now, section number two, it says listen for the ending sound. So, this time we're going to listen for the last sound we hear, not at the beginning, but at the end. Okay, so when we say the word ball, we're listening for any word that has the o sound at the end. So, listen at the end of the word, the very last sound I say, the ball. Does ball have the O sound at the end? Yes. Door. Door. Does door have the O sound at the end? No, it has a er. Door. Can you hear that? So, no. Pencil. Pencil. Do you hear the O at the end of pencil? Yeah. Okay. And this is a wall. Wall. Do you have the O in the end of the word wall? I do. Yep. Great job, you guys, on finding those ending L sounds. That's kind of tricky to do. The beginning ones are easier, but the ending ones are harder to hear. So great. Great job on this one. Section number three says sound it out. So we're going to try and figure out what word is this based on the beginning sounds of each one of these pictures. So the first picture is pizza, and pizza starts with the letter P. P. Apple, apple starts with A. Lip, lip starts with the letter what? L. So now we're going to write these over here. So the first spot was P. They wrote the A already for us, and then the last sound is L. So let's sound out this word. P, apple, owl. Pal, oh, they're pals, I get it. So this word goes with this picture, pal. It means, it's like another word for friend, okay, so pal. All right, great. So you guys can color these pictures um, when you have time later, okay? I know some of you, um, your favorite thing is to color, but we did the front side together, so that's enough. Um, and if you wanna color, some people love coloring. I like coloring. Um, you can color the back side if you want, okay? So let's put this book away. And now we need to get out our writing book. So go ahead and get this book out. It's my October journal. It looks like this. Go ahead and grab that. And if you don't have it, then go ahead and um, push pause and go grab your journal and then come back. Okay. All right. So we have written about a bat, a firefighter, spider, a life cycle, a pumpkin. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to write about my favorite pumpkin treat. Okay, my favorite pumpkin treat. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at our choices down here at the bottom. Let me make those bigger so you can see them. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffin, pumpkin seeds, and pumpkin butter. So these are different kind of snacks that people usually make with pumpkin. So of course you know pumpkin bread. I'm sure you've had it before. Pumpkin pie, I'm sure you've had, or pumpkin muffins. And pumpkin seeds, a lot of people, um, when they get pumpkins, they take the seeds out and clean them up, and then they season them, and then they toast them in the oven, and they're really good. And then pumpkin butter is kind of like a jam made out of pumpkin. It's really sweet, and it's good on toast or in sandwiches, okay? 
So I want you to circle your favorite pumpkin tree. Circle one thing, okay? I'm gonna circle pumpkin muffins. I love pumpkin muffins. And sometimes I put chocolate chips in them, they change really good. Okay, so my sentence, I'm gonna put this word in later, is my favorite pumpkin tree is a pumpkin muffin. But first, I need to draw a picture, right? So the first thing we always do is draw a picture. So I'm gonna draw a great big pumpkin muffin like this. I'm gonna put those little chocolate chips in there. Yum. Chocolate chips. I'm sure you guys do too. And then of course it's got that little, you know, that paper liner that um, your mom or dad probably puts in the muffin pans. Okay. So there is my muffin. So I'm gonna color my muffin. Pumpkin muffins are kind of, I don't know, they're kind of like a, they're not exactly, they're kind of a little bit of an orange, orangish brown. So I'm gonna color my muffin that way. And then of course the chocolate chips, I'd color a dark brown. Because when I'm older, dark brown color. Okay, so I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna go around all the, Chocolate chips. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to trace those actually. I'm going to trace this because it makes it look nicer. Just like that. So, oops. Trace those. Oh, yep. And then I'm going to pour in my chocolate chips and do a dark color. Favorite kind of chocolate chips are I like the milk chocolate ones because they are so melty and yummy. But they have like um, semi sweet and then they have some that like are um, have more chocolate in them. Cacao, which is what they make chocolate out of. Um, and sometimes those are okay, but they're probably not my favorite because sometimes they're way too strong. This is all right. Okay, so I'm going to color the liner. I think I'm going to trace it. I like to trace my lines sometimes because it makes your drawing look nice. It makes it really stand out with the colors. So I'm going to do that. Try this always in. Now, I can't have my muffin floating in the air. That does not make sense, you guys. Okay? So we have to have it on a plate or on a table or something. So I'm going to put that that and then I'm going to draw or color in like it's on a tablecloth. Okay, there we go. There's my muffin. Okay, so the next part is after we draw our picture, and if you're not done with your picture, go ahead and pause until you're done with your picture. You need to, we're going to trace all these words first. Okay, so trace with the idea here. My favorite. Pumpkin treat. Okay, now my favorite pumpkin treat, we need to say is a, so finger space here. My favorite pumpkin treat is it is finger space a. My favorite pumpkin treat is a. Finger space, because I'm gonna put a new word. Now here's pumpkin muffin. Okay, so I'm gonna write this first word, copy it. P U M P A I N. Uh-oh, I don't have enough room for this word, muffin. So I'm gonna have to go on the next one. These are all lowercase. M U F F I and, and I'm getting this word right from here. It shows you exactly how to write it. And at the end of the sentence, we need a period. So let's go ahead and read what we wrote. My favorite pumpkin treat is a pumpkin muffin. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? All you got to do is look at the word down here. It tells you exactly how to spell it, okay? So if you're not done with your writing, go ahead and push pause. And when you're ready to join us, then you can come back. All right, so let's go ahead and go up to the top to the checklist. It says, I can use a capital letter. And we did, we used a capital letter at the beginning of our writing. 
in the world. Used finger spaces, we sure did, didn't we? We used finger spaces. Sounded out words, we did. We sounded out the word is. Didn't we? And we used a period for our punctuation mark right there. And we drew a picture, of course. So great job, everybody. If you want to share your writing with Mrs. R, you can always jump on Seesaw, um, have your parents get and take a picture of it, and then you could post it for everyone to see in our classroom. That would be kind of a cool thing. We could share our writing with each other, okay? So let's go ahead and put this away, and if you're not done, you can go ahead and um, keep working on it, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. So I hope you guys had a great morning with Mrs. R. I hope you learned something new, and I know that you have other work you need to be working on today, so work really hard for your moms and dads and do your very best, like always. I wish you guys a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.